Mute. You never met a monster you couldn't love. Let's take him. So, Claudia, when you found out that you were going to sort of play Nagini, did you have, uh, what kind of discussion did you have with J.K. Rowling about how you portray the sort of the human form of a character that we'd already met before as a snake? Um, I, <laughs> she apparates and disapparates. So even though I wanted to ask her a ton of questions, um, I only saw her for a brief second in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> and she just said, I love Nagini so much. And I love how you, uh, how you played her for the tape. So, I mean, that was sort of like her saying, I trust you to do the best with this character, my baby, <laughs> you know, Nagini. I want the fan art that is this interaction, okay? I want the fan art that is like the moment when Nagini met J.K. J. Rowling <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> and J.K. Rowling was like, You've always been a favorite of mine. You know, I, want, I don't know how it looks. I'm that not be cool. the best um, uh, photo realist when it comes to yeah. painting, but that would be nice. I'd like to see it. Yeah. The moment has come to take our rightful place in the world where we wizards were free. Join me. Or die. What I'd quite like to see in the wizarding world is, you know, we have witches and we have wizards, but it'd be quite cool to see a non-binary magical being. Mm. I fucks with you. Yeah. You know, you've kind of been <laughs> open about being gender non-conforming, uh -huh. and would you like to see that in a blockbuster such as Fantastic Beasts? Well, but we've got them. Mm. I, I, I can, you, if you look through Fantastic Beasts, a lot of those um, beasts are non-binary, completely like a leather fold. What's the gender of a leather fold? I, I challenge you that. Um, but in terms of a human character, uh, yeah, that would be amazing. And there's so much in so many of the mythologies, like like the metamorph Magus. Mm. You know what I mean? You start to think about like transfiguration, <laughs> transmutation. Um, it's stuff from real esoteric wiz. You know, a lot of the esoteric practices have really old understandings of queerness and, you know, the four genders in Navajo, the two spirits in, in Lakota society. Like, all of this um, stuff that it, I, I feel like a lot of times in the LGBTQIA plus plus infinity sign um, community, uh, we think about a lot of what we're doing as brand new, which is true on in this time. Mm -hmm. But then it's so comforting, I think, to remember that we're also, we're bringing back the, the wisdom of, of the ancients, which is that spirit ultimately and primarily is, is beyond gender, you yeah. know? And that identity is how we create space for ourselves on planet Earth, you yeah. know?